Okay, so what's the real difference between sourcing a script and executing a script? So let's open up a terminal and create a couple of scripts. So the first one that we're going to create, let's just call it foo. And let's just set a couple of variables in this script. So let's just say a equals, I don't know, let's say this is sourced. And let's just echo it. So echo dollar a. And let's save that. And let's create another script. So vim bar. And let's just say the variables b and it equals this is executed. And let's echo that as well. So echo dollar b. And let's just save that. And let's make both of these executable. So chmod u plus x foo and bar. Okay, so let's start off by executing our second script. So dot slash bar. And as you can see, it says this is executed. And if you remember, we actually set a variable in there. So cat bar, we set the B variable. So let's try and echo dollar B. And we just get the new line that echo prints out. So let's source our foo script. So that's dot foo. Remember the spaces in between. So it's dot space foo and hit enter we get this is sourced and if we just echo dollar a you'll see that we have access to that a variable so the real difference between executing a script and sourcing a script is when you source a script it is executed in your current environment so when our foo script was executed and we set the a variable so let's just cat that so when we set our a variable here this was executed in our current environment. So it's exactly the same as if we had have done, say, C equals this is C. So if we had have just typed it in and now we have access to our C variable, so echo dollar C, that is exactly the same as what happened when we sourced our foo script. So it was executed in our current environment. So our A variable was set in our current environment. Now, with our bar script that we executed, what happens there is a subshell is forked and the lines in that script are executed in that subshell. So not our current shell, but a child process of our current shell. And when that finishes executing, it just closes and the child shell is destroyed. So we don't have access to those variables. So you might be thinking, well, couldn't I export to the variable? So let's try that and you'll see that it doesn't work. So vim uh, bar. And let's just go to the end and let's export B. And if we just run that, so we get this is executed. Let's echo dollar B. Actually, let's just cat that out so you can see it on screen. So cat bar and let's echo dollar B. You'll see that even though it was exported, we still don't have access to it. And that's because it was run in a child process. So you cannot export from child to parent but you can export from parent to child. So if we source our bar script, so dot space bar, our bar script was executed in our current environment. If we echo dollar B, we have access to that B variable. And as we exported our B variable from within that script that was sourced, we will now have access to this B variable from other subsequent scripts. So now let's create another script. So let's call it foobar. And within this, let's try an echo dollar a and echo dollar b. And let's just close this and make it executable. So now if we execute our foobar script, you can see that we can access our b variable because it was exported within this script, and then we sourced it into our current environment. So that export happened as if we were typing in export B. And if we want access to our A variable, so let's vim foo, all we need to do is export it in here. So export A. And if we source that, so we don't actually have to use the dot source method, we can use the the actual word method, which is source, and we want to source, it was called foo. So you can see this is sourced, 
And if we echo dollar a, we have access to that. And if we run our foobar script now, so foobar, which if you remember, it echoes both a and b, you'll see that we have access to our a variable and b variable. So that's basically the difference between sourcing a script and executing a script. And I hope you found this useful. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Goodbye.